Hello, teacher. Your microphone is off, teacher. Hello. Can you hear me, Jay? Yes, I, yes, but teacher, I know here. No, sí. eso, eso nos pasó por burlarnos de la María. Vos y yo ya no aguanto. <ríe> no lo escuchamos, teacher. No, no está, Eugenia. Es, teacher, no lo escuchamos. Teacher, hello. Uh -uh. Teacher, can you hear me? No, el cargo mal este. Eh, lo voy a escribir. No se le escucha. Hola Cecilia. Ay. Vamos a ver, activar esto. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. In this okay. moment, yes. Now, gather. These 10 minutes, you can tell me how can I help you more, okay? In your specific case, how can I help gather better? Okay, I don't know. Um, in my person, I think I need more vocabulary. More vocabulary, need, okay. Um, Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow uh, we are going to work yes, yes. on the SWOT. You know what is the SWOT? A strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and, and threats. That is what we call in Spanish FODA. Have you heard of FODA? FODA, fortaleza, oportunidades, oh. debilidades, y amenazas. Okay, so that's what we're gonna work on tomorrow. So that is okay. vocabulary. Now, all you have to do, Jader, is talk. Eh, nadie, nadie, Jader, lo va a juzgar. O sea, para que alguien pueda hablar, tiene que soltarse sin miedo. Se equivocó, no pasa nada. No pierde una uña, no pierde un ojo, no pasa nada, Jader. Entonces, es lo que tengo okay. que hacer. Claro, el vocabulario, usted trate de agarrar lo que, lo que está viendo alrededor y trate de usarlo yeah. en su día a día. Esto es un poco más fácil porque si usted ve, es inglés para el trabajo. Entonces, algunas veces vamos a coincidir con cosas de su trabajo. Tal vez ahorita no, pero más tarde sí. Ok, entonces sí. yo lo que quiero es sí. que se sienta con confianza. Ahora, ya de... Cuando Está vayamos bien. a la plataforma, sí. vaya, en la plataforma tengo yo que utilizar todos los signos de puntuación. La plataforma ya tiene una respuesta definida con signos de puntuación. Un punto, eh, signos interrogativos, sí. etcétera. Que comencemos una oración con, eh, con mayúscula, mayúscula, la terminemos con puntos. Porque si no, okay. por ese puntito todo puede estar bueno. Pero por ese puntito, por default, la computadora lo va a tomar como, como mala la, la pregunta. Entonces, quiero que se fije en eso para que... Y vale. que trabaje en la plataforma. Sí. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? Sí, está bien. ¿Está bien? Um, sí, sí, sí. Eh, prácticamente es... Eso es lo que siento que sí necesito mejorar y agregar más, más, más que todo quizás, sí. más que todo las configuración de los verbos en pasado y todo eso que sí me cuesta un poquito. Bueno, vamos a estar practicando. Parte. Así como estamos practicando, eh, produciendo, así es como vamos a hablar. Hey, yo lo que necesito es estar en contacto con el lenguaje. O sea, estas dos horitas usted procure que cuando le den chance de hablar, usted hable. ¿va? Porque ahí va a utilizar el vocabulario. Ahí... Porque el vocabulario puede ser que lo tenga aquí, pero si no lo uso, ahí queda. Ok. ¿Verdad? Está bien. Ok. Thank you very much, Jader. Voy a ir con el siguiente porque ya nos pasamos. Bueno, está bien, está bien. Gracias, hey, teacher. Good night. Feliz noche. Hey, ya sabes que me puede contactar por el WhatsApp.
y preguntarme. Yo estoy para ustedes. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Ok. You're welcome, Yader. Thank you very much. Blanca Estela. Hi, teacher. Hello, Blanca Estela. Hi, teacher. Okay. Can you hear me? Hi. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Blanca Estela. One thing. Okay, I am here to help you. Okay? And whatever you think you need, please ask me. Fíjese bien. Yo estoy aquí para ayudarlos. ¿verdad? Y como esto es algo nuevo, algo que ustedes están acomodando también, también nosotros. ¿Ok? Yo le voy a pedir que con toda confianza, si usted tiene alguna necesidad de algo, me diga. Mire, Ticho, yo necesito más práctica de esto. Mire, Ticho, yo necesito de esto. Ahorita, ¿qué es lo que cree usted que necesita, Blanca? Que yo le ayude más. Um... Um, I need to, to, learn, to learn more vocabulary. To okay. learn more vocabulary. Okay, we are going to work uh -huh. on that. But, um, but, uh, yo necesito aprender. O sea, usted sí lo enseña, lo tiene en, en lo que nos está dando y todo, pero a veces me quedo porque como no conozco ciertas cosas, entonces, eh, se me dificulta un poquito más, pero eso es, necesito estar estudiando un poco más, no Vaya. solo en la clase. Vaya, tips, tips. Ok, cuando entre a la clase y yo los ponga en grupo a hablar, usted hable, sin pena. Ok, aquí el, 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 el secreto de esto es hablar, así como a un niño. Como él nace con necesidad y tiene que hablar para decir, tengo hambre... ¿verdad? Como usted expuesto al lenguaje, aprende rápido. Entonces yo tengo que hacer lo mismo. Quitarme la pena y comenzar a hablar. Si me equivoco, estamos en un ambiente protegido. Sí. ¿Verdad? Así que usted okay. dele. Cuando yo le dé la oportunidad de hablar, usted dele. Dígame así, que cortado, que no salió bien. No importa. Porque lo que necesito es okay, exponerme. Dice. Entre más me exponga, okay. más voy a ir a... Ah, aquí, ah, aquí creo que... Si yo no cometo errores, jamás los voy a corregir. ¿Me explico? Okay. Yes. Entonces lo que necesito es hablar. Otra cosa que le quiero recomendar es, en la plataforma, cuando entren y hagan sus respuestas, eh, usen todos los signos de puntuación. Cuando comienza una oración, hágalo con mayúscula. Cuando termina, póngale punto. Si es pregunta, póngale signo de interrogación. Porque la plataforma sí. utiliza... Eh, o sea, por default ya tiene una respuesta y esa respuesta lleva punto, esa respuesta lleva mal, mayúscula al principio, esa respuesta lleva signo de interrogación, si es una pregunta. Entonces, yo tengo que ponerle todos esos detalles porque si no me va a salir mala. Y si me sale mala sabiendo que la tengo buena, me la puede frustrar y yo no quiero que se frustre. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Entonces, pueden suceder estas pequeñas cosas para que ustedes tomen las precauciones y, y salgan bien, pues, porque lo que queremos es que salgan bien. Que se les quite el miedo. ¿Ok? Y eso es lo que yo le recomiendo a todos. Dele y así. Cuando usted se exponga a hablar, va a ver que va a aprender más rápido. Ok, teacher. Thank okay. you for your... Bye. Ok. No, no problem. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you tomorrow. Ok? Ok. Ok. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, thank you. ¿Quién era el siguiente? María Eugenia Cruz de Magaña. Bessie, está ahí, Bessie.
Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I am I, here. I was at 1030, but I don't know what happened. It's okay. Right now it's 1026, oh. so we are okay. Let's see. 
How are you today, Bessie? Mm, very tired, sincerely. Yeah, I understand. I understand. But we have to make the effort, Bessie, because uh, uh, I'm learning English, especially English, okay, may, uh, that means more money. Okay? I know. Okay, so I advise you, okay, don't miss any of your classes because what we need is the practice. Okay. As you can see, children, because they are exposed to the language every day, they learn faster. Okay, I know. so what we need is the exposure to the language so we can learn in a, in a quicker uh, path. Now, I want okay. to ask you, what do you think you need that I can help you with? Mm. What is it that you want me to do better or to help you more with, Bessie? Um, well, the group is very, uh, we, are, we are 20, like, it's very difficult to share sometimes. Yeah, I and, know. And to get the idea, maybe, for the exercise that you, do you need, do you, do you give us to make it? Mm-hmm. Well, my, I have a problem maybe with, um, uh, can I say, with the writing. Okay, I understand that because your talking is very good. Thank you. Yeah, for the level that you are in Intermediate 2, your, le your, in, uh, your speaking level is very good. And, and Thank I... You. Uh, and I can help you with the writing. Now, what we need is to learn the verbs, okay? Yeah. Because I can see that's what I've seen so far, okay? Mm -hmm. While we were practicing today, yeah. I, could see, I could see that you need more to know more verbs. Yes. So, uh, uh, did you receive the link, the, the, the file that I sent today with the links? Yes, uh, on my email. Yeah. Okay. So the yes, first I do. link, the first link is a list of the most common verbs. Okay. I think they are no more than one hundred. Okay. Now, okay. What? How do I recommend? Because memorization is kind of boring. Do you understand? Be, was, where, been. So it's kind of boring. Do it that way. Okay. So one of the things that can help you is going to the links, like for example, the present perfect. You see all those exercises are about the present perfect, all those links, except the first one, that is the, the verbs. So what you need to do is get into the links and have the list of verbs next to you when you are working. And when you come with a verb that you are not familiar with, go to the list okay you doubt that that is the past participle or simple past go to the list okay? okay and that's a way of memorizing okay another faster way to memorize is take like seven verbs from the ones that you don't know because the ones that you know don't 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 try with those you already know so i i i I try to make my glossary of the words that I don't, I don't, uh, don't know. Okay. And then, like uh, today, I have uh, nine words that I didn't know. Okay. So those nine words and verbs, because I want you to go with the verbs, because I need you to be sharp on the simple past and on the past participle, especially like you said in the writing. Uh, part okay? Oh, okay so take seven of the most unfamiliar verbs for you first go with the unfamiliar okay? okay and place that list of verbs like for example i all you know now that we are in quarantine i go to the mirror very often so i put the list in the mirror on the mirror mm, so when okay. i see myself I remember the list, and when I see the list, I start 
looking and say, ah, ta, 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 okay. ta, ta, once. Then I go to the bathroom, probably, you know, to do number one or to do number two, and there is the mirror. So I take the list okay. and I repeat it, ta, 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 and do that for about five days. After the fifth day, okay. change, change the verbs. Take okay. another seven or, or 10 verbs and do the same thing. And you see, in, in terms of uh, one month, you probably have learned what? 40 it's verbs, not... 40 or more. Oh, yeah. Okay? So okay. that is one way. That is one way. I will practice that. And go to the links, okay? And when okay, you do the do exercises, it. even though you have, your talking is very good, Bessie, when you are doing the exercises, after you have finished it, you have a check that the answer is correct, then go orally. Okay. Because that will improve your fluency. Okay? Okay, great. And try to do it not at the speed that you dominate the pronunciation. No, try to do it faster. Okay, when you dominate certain speed, that means that you have to go to the next level. That means faster. Even if you get, if your tongue get twisted, don't worry hello, about hello. it. Hello. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Any more, any more questions that you have for me? No, teacher. Maybe on the next class. <laughs> okay. We have, we still have time. Okay, if, if you want to, to tell me anything, now you can also tell me to help, my, to help our class, you can also tell me what you would like me to do different or, or how I can improve with all of you guys. <laughs> yep. Let me tell you, uh, mm. you know, doing this, I don't know if you have ever tried to learn something virtually like the way that we are doing, not presential, right? Virtually. Yeah. So yes. Yeah, I'm listening. Yes, I have my, my master class uh, online too. Online. From Spain. Okay. And that was a one year love with three hours of class for 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. and there it wow, was. Wow, very, very early in the morning, huh? Very early in the morning because the hours, the difference of hours. Yeah, okay. And um, maybe in this class, uh, we need to, I know that uh, everyone wants to learn, right? But maybe the, uh, how you say, the, uh, the participate of each one is very important. And then sometimes, Maybe it's so noisy because every everyone is, is speaking. speaking? Uh -huh, okay, yeah. I understand. Uh -huh. And we and have then, and we have some noisy students too, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. You noisier know. than the, the noisier than the regular ones, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very um how you say muy participativo. Yeah, yeah, they are very participative. More, want more than others. Yeah, right? I know, I know. But uh, maybe uh, others wants to participate too. Okay. And then it's going to be that um, the intervi uh, intervention. Uh, your participation? Oh, your participation, uh-huh. Maybe more uh, in order. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, one other advice that I have for you. When I break into groups, okay, like tomorrow, we are not going to see grammar. We're going to see grammar a little bit. We are going to review again the present perfect and again uh, to reduce clauses, okay? Okay. But, uh, but I, I, I don't want to extend too much on that because okay. uh, there is, uh, there are some, uh, I want you to talk more. Okay. Okay. So when I break you into groups, okay, if somebody is not talking, don't let the opportunity of having that free space to talk go away. You go ahead and talk. You understand? 
So don't be silent. Here we need to talk. That's the only way. It's like swimming. You want to learn how to swim, you got to be in the water. So if you want to speak English, speak it, right? So if the other ones don't want to speak, you go ahead and start telling your story or whatever, or your opinion. Is that clear? Hello, Bessie, are you there? Bessie's going. Oh, hello, Bessie, turn your microphone on. Sorry, teacher, my internet, it doesn't work like I want wanted to, to do. It's okay, we have to understand all these, uh, you know, shortcomings. Short. So, uh, just go ahead, Bessie, you are doing well. I mean, you, you have it made, okay? Uh, Oscar is here, so. Thank you, goodbye. Thank you, Bessie. Have a nice night, okay? Good night. Okay, rest. Rest a lot, please. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, uh, Oscar, how are you? Teacher, fine, and you? I am just fine. Thanks for asking, okay? Now, uh, Oscar, how can I personally help you more, Oscar? Uh, maybe with the topic to today because it's a little confused but I think that I have the idea but the in one example I confuse uh, the third one when we change what was for been uh -huh. because I, I thought that the the change it was only in the first okay uh, in the first idea no, but remember, remember, I, okay, wait, 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 Oscar, I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, but remember what the lady said. The lady said that we, that there are two clauses, okay? One is the dependent clause, and the other one is the independent clause. Mm -hmm. So the independent clause, we cannot touch. Okay, we cannot touch, we cannot okay. reduce that one. We can reduce the dependent clause. Okay, so the okay. first thing that we have to know is to recognize which one is the independent clause, okay? That is the okay. first thing that we should do, okay? And that is where your problem probably is. Now, the dependent clause doesn't mean that is the clause that doesn't mean that is the clause that has more words. No, no. Mm -hmm. The dependent clause is the one that it can stand alone. Okay. That okay. means that it, without anything, only that sentence explains what it has to be said. Okay. okay. Now, here is, I'm going to share the... Okay, so you said that you have problems with number? The third one, I think. The third one, right? Let me see the book right here. Okay, can you see it? No. Can you see the book? Yes. Yes. Okay, so can you see the third one? Okay, so Andrew kept text messaging. Okay, so that is the main clause because that clause is understandable without adding any more. Now, but when I say while he was in a video conference about the prototype for the new product, what happened? You see? Mm -hmm. That one needs more. That one needs the other clause to explain itself. So mm -hmm. this is the this is the adverb clause. Okay. This is the dependable because this one depends on this one to be explained. Mm -hmm. Only this clause is difficult to understand what they are trying to say. But when I say Andrew mm -hmm. kept text messages, the idea is complete. This it's one, complete. the idea is not complete. It needs this one to be complete. You understand? Yes. Okay, now what is the main verb right here? Was. The verb is was. Okay, now what is the base form of what? It's B. B. Okay, so here we are going to add ing. 
Yes. Now, we can, the lady said that when we have while and when, we can mm -hmm. omit while and when. So I can say, Andrew kept mm -hmm. text messaging being, being in a video conference about the prototype. Okay? But only with why and when. Uh, only with why and when. Uh, I'm going to send, tomorrow I'm going to send the video so you can ah, okay. study it, okay? Exactly what she explained. She explained very good. I like her because yes. she explained real good, okay? So you can watch the video and you're going to see that when she says that with while and when, those those time words can be omitted. Okay. If we have other time words, like for example, and they are time words because when you say after, that means, you know, later, right? Mm -hmm. Before, that means uh, uh, before, right? So this mm -hmm. one cannot be omitted, okay? Okay. So tomorrow, when early in the morning, I'm going to send, I'm going to send, the, a page with the links because there are links on more exercises. The only thing is that some some of those links, like right here, right here, mm -hmm. the book says to do it only with a time clauses. Can you see here? Clause time, mm -hmm. clause of time. But the links don't have a specific exercises for clauses of time. So mm -hmm. there are other type of clauses, for example, for reasons, for consequences. Okay, so they okay. come mixed. Do you understand? Okay. Yes. Okay, but so that, that is the only difference. But the but the objective and the and the main idea is exactly the same. Okay. okay. Reduce. Okay. So okay. so that and uh and Oscar, uh, I see that you are interested. I see that you want to learn. And remember, yeah. remember, when I break the groups, some groups, there are people that don't want to talk. Yes. You don't care if they don't want to talk. You want to talk because you want to learn. So you start talking about anything. Okay. Okay, and go ahead because that is your opportunity to talk. Now, that doesn't mean that you won't let them talk. If they mm -hmm. want to talk, let them talk and make a conversation. Okay, but they don't want to talk like you are, hey, you go ahead and tell them a story. Because here is important, like a baby. If you see the little children learn quickly because they are exposed to the language uh -huh. all the time. So what do we need to be exposed? To, to be exposed. Uh -huh. Exposed means Hey, that I need to be talking. I need to be listening. I need to be reading. I need to be writing. Mm -hmm. I am exposed. Okay. And okay. the more I am exposed, the more I'm going to learn. Okay. Yes. So uh, please, uh, I I um I want to tell you that students like you are the ones that motivate me. Okay. Okay, thanks. Do this, okay, because you want to learn, and that's what we want, okay? And you probably yes. can make others learn too, okay? Yes. Just okay. go ahead and talk. And like, for example, when you have doubts, you can uh, you can uh, give me a message on the chat, on the WhatsApp oh, okay. chat, okay? Okay. And probably we, 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 we see how we can you know, maybe a call on WhatsApp or something, and we can talk, okay? Okay. But if you have a question, please go ahead and call me. No problem. Okay. I'm here for you, okay? And, my, and I will be very proud. You understand proud? When I yes. see you talk in English very good, and I say, hey, I was <laughs> part of that. Okay. okay. Thanks. No, I think that only this topic was a where well, sorry this topic was confused but i think that i understand better than after that in the class okay very good so remember uh, uh, these are this almost the same things 
that she said, okay? Eliminate the subject. And here is the condition. You remember the condition? Okay. The subjects are in the bleeded. upper clause and independent clause. And here, look, they make right here the explanation. Adverb clause is the one that needs another clause to be explained. Mm -hmm. This okay. clause standing alone, it doesn't give you the exact meaning of what's happening. Mm -hmm. They need another clause to be explained. Okay. So when you recognize the clauses, it's easier to, for you. Because mm -hmm. the reducing, the reduction, you can do it only with the adverb clause, not in the independent clause. Okay. Thanks. Okay? Yes, I understand better. Okay. Anything else that I can help you with? Uh, I think that is clear. It's clear? Yes. Okay, very good. Eugenia, are you there, Eugenia? See you, teacher. Okay, see you, Oscar. Good hey, night. And remember what I said. I yes. need you here, and I need you sharp, okay? Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye, Oscar. Have a bye good bye. night. And rest, please. You too. Thank you. Yes. Hello, Eugenia. Sorry, I've been waiting in the link. You sent me my email. Well, I didn't send you the email, okay? So this is okay. the, support, the support team. I just waited, wasting okay. my time, uh, darling. You were supposed to be number two. You were supposed to be number two, but it's okay. I'm going to extend, okay? Now, Eugenia, tell me how personally I can help you more to learn English. Mm. Um, I feel the class is interesting um uh i really have a lot of problems with my conversations uh, i love reading english i can um, i can understand the reading but the conversation made me feel nervous and i think that's my problem Okay, now look, uh, Eugenia, okay. I can see right now by the way you talk that you speak very good for the level that we are. You speak very good. So all you have to do is go ahead and talk. Are you afraid of speaking? Because I feel uh, in, my, in my mind um, just like... Uh, Burden. That you are going to make a mistake. A mistake. Uh, so don't flow, worry. The flow of the, flow of the, the words don't, don't go easily. Yeah, but you know why? Because you need to be exposed. Exposed. Like a baby. You see the little baby? They hear the language 24 hours. That's why they learn. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go ahead and talk, the words are going to come fluently because you are using them. You are recycling them. It's like probably you have a lot of vocabulary. You have a lot of grammar in your mind. But if you don't use it, it's going to be right there. Es como tenerlo ahí al fondo de la bodega. You understand? But if I use it all the time, so uh, what I recommend, when we break into groups and I say, go ahead and talk, give your opinion, give your opinion. If the other member of your group don't want to talk, don't worry, you talk, okay? Because that's what you need. I can see that your level of English is good. And like you tell me, you like reading, probably you know a lot of vocabulary. Use yeah. it. Oh, and how are you going to use I, it? Talking, Eugenia. Talking. Oh, That's the only I way. It's in English, but um, I have that that problem. <laughs> it, it's not a problem. Uh, yes. With, with the class of today, I'm, I'm loading a little late. I'm sorry, but I feel a little lost uh, with the application of these grammars. Ah, with this, with this topic, this grammar. Yeah. Okay, so we can go right here. Can you see it? Yeah, okay. I can see it. Okay, so, okay, two things that the lady explained in the video, okay? One is 
that we have an adverb clause and we have an independent clause. So what that means? Independent clause is like a sentence. Mm -hmm. With that sentence, you understand what they are trying to say. With the adverb clause, because it's a clause, is like a part of a sentence. Only the adverb clause doesn't give you a complete idea. So they need an independent clause to complete the idea. Do you understand? Uh, a little. Okay. Okay, for example, when I say here, before we make a decision, mm -hmm. before we make a decision, what is the idea? What she's gonna do? What are they going to do? I don't know. So you see, this doesn't complete the idea. Yeah. But if I say only this, we still need to go over the opportunities and thread that could affect the company. Oh, this is a complete sentence because this mm -hmm. gives you an idea. It completes the idea. This one doesn't complete the idea. That's why they yeah. are called adverb clauses. So the first thing is identify which is the, the independent clause, which is the adverb clause. Which one needs the other one to be explained? And which one doesn't need anything to explain itself? Okay. Are we clear so far? Yeah. I, yes. I follow. Yes. Okay. So now we identify this is the adverb clause before we make a decision. So here, only here, I can make the reduction. I cannot make the reduction right here, right? Mm -hmm. Only in the adverb clause. The lady said there is one condition. The subjects in the adverb clause and in the independent clause have to be the same. Mm -hmm. If they are different, the reduction should not be done. Um. Okay, so they have to be the same. So what is the subject here? We. Make we. Right, and what is the subject here? Also we. we. So the it's reduction the same. can be, uh -huh, it's the same. So it says, the only, these are the time words. These are the time words before, after, after since, since, while, and mm -hmm. when. In the video, the lady explained that when I have while and when I have when, I can omit those words. But when I have before, after, and since, I have to use them. I cannot omit since, after, or before. I can omit while and when. Is that clear so far? I can't. Uh, yo puedo omitir no, while I, and when. I can't. No. See, yeah, you can. I can't. Okay. You can omit while and when, but you cannot but... omit since, after, and before. You okay. have to use them in the reduction. Mm -hmm. Okay, but while and when, yeah, you can leave it out. All right. So, yeah. because here, in in in, uh, let's go back here to number two. Before we make a decision, we identify the subject is the same, so I can make the reduction. Obviously, I need this word before. So the, she said, okay, you can omit the subject. Don't use the subject. Wait. The verb has to be in the present Making. participle. What is the present participle of make? Making. Making. So before making a decision, you see, and that's all. The rest mm -hmm. is the same because the independent clause is untouchable. The only okay. thing is if the subject here is not a pronoun and the subject here is a pronoun because we need to know what the subject is, then we use that subject that is not a pronoun and we use it here, okay? Mm -hmm. So people can recognize what the subject, what subject are we talking about? Okay? Yes. Ah, okay, very good. Now here, we have another one right here, number one. So you see, if we only say after we conduct actual analysis, 
What happens? You see, that clause is incomplete. The idea it. is not complete. Hey, so what? What's going to happen? So it needs something to complete the idea. What is that something? The independent clause. This is the independent clause. With this clause, now this, this uh, adverb clause makes sense now. But only extending by itself, it doesn't make sense. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. So this is the adverb clause and this is the independent clause. This one we cannot touch. The only one that we can reduce is this one, the adverb clause. Again, after, now let's consider the subject is we in the yeah. adverb clause. And the subject is we, we. in the independent clause. So, it's the same. perfect. We can make the reduction. It meets the conditions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it says after, we have to use after. After, then we omit we. After conducting. Conducting a SWOT analysis. A SWOT analysis. Uh -huh. We will know whether to go on or stop with this project. project. See how easy this is? Okay. And the same happened here. You remember this one? Before. Before making a decision. Making a decision is right we there. We still need to go over the opportunities uh -huh. and threats that could affect the company. Exactly. And you see from here on, we cannot touch yes, because yeah. that independent clause is fine. You, we cannot touch it. Only the advert clause. Now, here is an example that of the subject. Before the new product project, new product project, that is mm -hmm. the subject. Mm -hmm. A new product project. Now, what is the subject here in the independent we. clause? We. We. Are, are the subjects the same or different? It's different. They are different. So here we cannot make the reduction. So we have yeah. to leave it the way it is. And that's what he said here. Before getting green light, we still, get the, we still need to beat the threat from outside? Yes. Not possible. That cross means it's wrong. Why? Because the subject and this subject are not the same. Okay? So, let's do one more, one more. Now, here, let's go to this one because this is the most confusing. The lady in the video said that the independent clause can be at the beginning or it can be at the end. Mm -hmm. Right? So yes. Andrew kept text messaging. So you see, I can recognize that is the independent clause. Why? Because it explains everything. Andrew kept text messaging. messaging. Right? Now, and Please. look, the time word, the time word while tells you that this is the advert clause with many words. But it doesn't have a complete meaning. While he was video, while he was in a video conference about the prototype for the new product, what happened? You see, only those words doesn't explain, doesn't give you the, the, the complete idea. So this is the advert of frequency. And what 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 one key that helps you recognize it is. The time word. Look, can you see the time word right here? Okay. This is the advert mm. cloud. You see the time word right here? This is the yeah. advert cloud. You see the time word right here? This yeah. is the advert cloud. Mm. You see after. After. So this is the uh, advert cloud. Can you see here after? So this yeah. is the advert cloud. Can you see here before you present a new idea? So this is the advert clause. So the reductions can be made on this one. So look, Andrew kept text messaging. The lady in the video said while can be omitted and the subject is also omitted. And he, the subject is he, the subject is Andrew. he, Andrew. 
right? Mm -hmm. The same subject. So we can make the reduction. So we omit while and we omit he. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the base form of was? Mm -hmm. Be. Now, we need the present participle, ing, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. being. So mm -hmm. Andrew kept text messaging being in a video conference. conference that's all i have to do okay that's the reduction that is the reduction that's uh, all. And the rest the the same. messaging being in a video conference exactly that is the same okay and i made a mistake because i i thought is uh andrew <laughs> andrew yeah. Keep texting. <laughs> yeah, because you thought that this is the other clause and it is not. This is the it's other. It's why he was. That's why I told you, you have to recognize. And how yeah. do you recognize? Easy. Look at the time word. Okay. While, before, before after. after. Look, after, after that is the other clause. After and uh, this is the uh, the Albert clause. Albert Very clause. easy. Okay. 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 So I'm gonna leave you. Okay. I got the line. Thank you <laughs> for your time. No, no, it's okay. Hey, now, whenever if you have if you have questions, you can call me at the chat, okay. uh, at the WhatsApp chat. Okay, and we can see how we can solve and clear your question. I can I, can I, uh, how can I, um, a comment? Can I make a comment? Yeah, yeah, make a comment. Because uh, in the class, I get distracted uh, and I thought if, if we can keep the microphones off because, uh, uh -huh, because a lot of people while, while you are reading while you are reading the class and explaining uh, some people are talking some people are talking that distract me a lot okay and I, I, yeah i'm gonna i'm going you see because i am the administrator i can mute them so uh -huh. it's okay next class i'm gonna do that i'm gonna when I, when I am explaining i'm gonna mute everybody just because okay. it's, more, it's more easy to keep the line of the okay, class. Okay, it's easier. Easier. Easier it's to easier. keep the line of the class if I can concentrate in, in the, the, the task, as I think. Okay, so, now, <laughs> now remember, go to the platform. Okay. Do the exercise. Okay, one tip. A punctuation, punctuation marks have to be respected. For example, you need, if you are going to start a question or, okay. or, a, or a sentence, you have to start with a capital letter. If it is a sentence, you have to end with a period. If it is a question, you have to end up with a question mark. So yes. all those punctuation marks, if you, because the answer is already pro, uh, programmed, so okay. for, by default, if it doesn't match the answer, it will tell you that you are that you did it wrong. And that might and that may frustrate you. You understand? And I don't want yes. to frustrate. So pay attention to those little details. Okay. okay. Go to the platform, do your task, do your task. Pay and, attention to the punctuation. Uh-huh. And be careful with the punctuation. Okay? okay. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Have a wonderful Bye. night and Thanks. see you tomorrow, eight o'clock. Okay. Okay, just the Wednesday. Before, before, two, three yes. minutes before, so we can talk. I can make that just uh, as I write in the mess in the WhatsApp. Um, just on Wednesday, I can stay in, in, poor, uh, in time at the APA of the class because I have my meeting. Ah, uh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. okay. I will respect that. Okay, I will okay. respect that. Don't worry. Thanks. Okay, no Just problem. No problem. Day, but I, I can stay. I, I but it's not every day, day, right? Day. Okay. It's not every day. It's only on Wednesday. No, just Wednesday. Okay, no problem. Now, okay. connect. What time is the meeting? It's uh, starting 7 
and finish at 8.45. Okay, so you connect at 8.45. Okay? Okay. And I we can. finish until 10, no problem. Thanks. Okay. Perfect. Good night. Okay. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Frank. Okay, bye-bye.